My next guest took a very challenging period of her life and turned it into an inspirational book to help others. Joining us via Zoom is fitness trainer and author of the book, Menopocalypse, How I Learned to Thrive During Menopause and How You Can Too. She's Amanda Thieve. Thanks for joining us, Amanda. Hi, it's great to be here. Thanks for having me on the show. Uh, yeah, so let's start right off. What inspired you to write this book and the title? I love the title, by the way. So what was your inspiration? You know, I, in my early 40s, started struggling with symptoms of vertigo, migraines, and depression. And I went to my doctors who were very helpful, but they never got to the root cause of my problems. And I was very frustrated and felt very unwell. And I think at the time I probably looked okay. So I feel like I may have been dismissed slightly. And um, it was only when I went to my routine gynecology um, session that he recognized that these symptoms were something to do with perimenopause. And all of the other medical professionals I'd seen had never joined the dots and realized this was a, this was a hormonal situation. And so literally through frustration and lack of information, I decided to write the book so that I could share both my experiences and the research that I'd found to help other women when it came to their time for menopause with some type of clarity and maybe some levity too. And I wanted to rewrite the story for women. I, I think women are tired of being told that they're broken or mm. what's wrong with them. We don't need to know our limitations. What we actually do need are active solutions so that we can take control of our situation again. And that's what I feel like my experience from being a personal trainer brings to this story. You know, I think that one unfortunate thing is that society makes talking about menopause somewhat taboo. And so I think women sometimes feel ashamed or embarrassed to discuss that, listen, I'm going through perimenopause or menopause. But I think that's, that's a problem. I think talking about it and sharing experiences is exactly what people need to realize this is not just me. There's nothing wrong with me. This is part of you know, life. This is part of the process of living and aging. Um, and you think that there are things women can do to improve their lives. Yes, absolutely. I mean, one of the one of the big things I found is that I was um, I felt isolated and alone during my experience. So one of the things I recommend to women is firstly to find a community and be open and talk about their problems, because when you lessen the burden by making the conversation happen, you feel as though you can get through troubled times. And you also came down with COVID-19. How was that for you? Not great, actually, <laughs> as you can imagine. I um, was sick for about three weeks with moderate symptoms, um, and but then I never recovered. I, I know you did a show on long haulers, and mm. I became a long hauler myself for about 17 weeks. Wow. I'm mm. fully recovered now, though, five and a half months in, thankfully. Yes. You say that your menopause journey actually helped you prepared uh, with how you could deal with COVID. It did, and um, it took me a, f a while to dig deep and find that, but what happened with me through perimenopause was a period of isolation and frustration where I didn't know what was the matter with me, I couldn't find the information, and I couldn't get treatment options. And of course, with a novel virus, we knew very little in March, and so I felt feelings of frustration and wondering if I would ever get well again. And um, I had to dig deep and find my reserves that helped me think, let's just control what you can control. So mm. I focused on recovery, resting, sleeping, and stress management, as well as making sure my nutrition was on point and that I moved daily when I could, when I felt like my body was able to. And I think that just by focusing on the things that I could control, I actually felt that my recovery came like a little bit quicker because of that. Well, Amanda, I'm glad you are feeling better. And, um, you know, keep talking about uh, the experience for menopause for women, because I just think that, once again, it's a subject that's very important. Every woman goes through it, and it shouldn't be someone that, something that people should be quiet about, but they should share experiences. So thank you very much. Thank you for having me on the show.